Hello and welcome to the Long Beach and with Mo show. I was recently in England and happened to spend a day with Peter a.k.a. Geriatric 1927. So I decided to do a day in the life of Peter. I think he's the missing link of the generation gap. He thinks of himself as the agony uncle of YouTube. And also some people say he's the grandfather or the granddad of YouTube. But here's to you, Peter, and here's to your half hour right here. You're, you're the granddad of YouTube, aren't you? Uh, yes, I've been dubbed the granddad of the internet. And uh, yes, I'm known on YouTube as Geriatric1927. Uh, of course, the 1927 being the year of my birth. Fantastic. And uh, now I'm going to follow you around with this camera oh and I'm going to be I... like a little fly on your shoulder. Oh my God. So this is going to be rather wonderful. And I'm really, Good really call. looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mo, for asking me because you did ask me many, many months ago and you invited me to go over to California. To come to Long Beach. Yes. Uh, to Long Beach and do Long Beaching with Mo and I wasn't able to at the time uh, but you finally tracked me down and I'm very <laughs> pleased to uh, pleased to take part. Thank you so much Peter. Now a day in the life of geriatric what do we do when we get up? Well I think as all of my people on YouTube know I'm a widower and I live alone so there's a certain amount of domestics to do but I don't do very much. Uh, I think it was Quentin Crisp, dear old Quentin Crisp, who said, if you don't dust for a couple of years, you'll never notice the difference. So I adopt that sort of policy, basically. But there's a certain amount of uh, domestic routine to do. But uh, I spend most of the day and uh, in, in my office computer room because that's where I communicate uh, with, uh, with my friends and uh, what I call work. What is it? We're in 2007 now, coming into 2008. What has the last year been, the past year been like for you? Well, unbelievable in that um, I have enjoyed and still enjoy all my time on YouTube with uh, the friends that I have made there, but it's also led to other things uh, in the media through my uh, involvement with the Zimmers Band and the opportunities that that has thrown up. That's right, the Zimmers Band with the, what now what song is it? The Who's My Generation. You got it, yes, that's it, yeah. I understand that the Zimmers um, are made up, when you add up the hours, it adds to what, 3,000 hours or something? I think you mean years, but... Years, um, years, yes, um, see, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Yes, uh, yes, originally it did. Originally there were 40 of us. Uh, that number has diminished a little Aww. bit for various reasons. Yes. Um, but when we were in um, Munich just a few weeks ago, uh, somebody added up the total years of the 17 of us who were there at that time and I think that came to something over 2000 so we are old people I think the youngest member is 75 or 76 the oldest although she doesn't participate now is 100 years old and she had her birthday just on December the 5th of this year and um, but the lead singer Alf is 90 or 91 years old and so we have a bit of a range of ages but we are all um, wrinklies and crinklies I have to call it. Wrinklies and crinklies. Well I'll tell you there's a lot to 
be learned from, as you call it, wrinkly and crinklies. And uh, a lot of people ask you a lot of things, they write to you and you become like an agony uncle, haven't you? Yes, I have. It's wonderful. Um, when I first went on to YouTube, which was sort of almost completely by accident and nothing more than just an exercise to see if I could do it, I thought everybody would laugh me off the, uh, off the site because obviously, like most websites, most sort of social and blogging websites are the domain of... When I say the young, there are very young children there, but, you know, the younger age groups. And uh, I, I thought uh, nothing would happen, but of course it's history now that it did. And uh, now there is a much wider age range of people there since uh, I did this first video and that's a wonderful thing and, and then we've got this communication between the ages and yes it's true loads of young people do write to me often asking me to do things for them or give them shout outs or put their videos in my favourites or get attention from me and I do oblige as many as I can and I do answer all of their letters um, but many of them have become, well, pen pals, if you like, and they do tell me about their lives and often about their problems. Yes. And um, I think that's lovely. It's very warming. I mean, I, I, I don't give advice to people. I don't think no. I'm qualified to give advice, but one can be understanding and give sympathy and... Um, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful um, byproduct of being on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Do you answer all of your emails? Yes, I do. Apart from the few that uh, are, are, are rude to me. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't think you're the odd one out there. I think uh, there's a lot of rudeness to be had everywhere. Yes. Um, I get the share myself, so don't feel bad. <laughs> no, I don't feel bad about it. No. But it's such a shame, isn't it? That... Yes, but I mean, you see, it's such a big sight, and it does reflect the whole of humanity. And uh, uh, well, unfortunately, that everybody is not nice in this world, and so, in a way, I don't quite regard it as a compliment. But they'll throw they'll throw abuse at the people from whom they can get the most attention and That's the people true. they can get the most attention from are the people who are well, more popular on the first five pages or whatever, you know, so right. it's right. just an acceptable uh, fact of life, as you might say. Right. Now we're going to go into the, um, your, into your area, your, your study, study slash studio, and see what you do. Um, when you get up and well not when you get up you you know yeah, you start your yeah. day and right. your day is pretty full isn't it <laughs> sometimes it's very very full i'm not getting quite so many letters now but there was a time when uh, you know i had to really get up early in the morning to cope with them and um, it was pretty well an all day I, I keep calling it a job i don't regard it as a job because um I mean, for goodness sake, uh, what's the alternative? What old man, instead of sitting around being lonely and watching telly, wouldn't swap with me, you know? But there is a lot to do, yes, and especially, of course, now that there's some media attention and other things to do in that field. But, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what a life. <laughs> this is it. We were sitting there yesterday and you brought up a few things that... Um, you, you brought your email up and you're, bit, you're invited to all sorts of things, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I have been invited to go to Davos in Switzerland at the end of January to attend um, a very important meetings called the World Economic Forum and that's where people uh, royalty and politicians and government officials and all the CEOs of all the big businesses in the world meet and uh, little old me was invited to go um, as a web celebrity uh, which I would have loved to have done um, but I'm afraid 
I'm reasonably healthy, but I wouldn't have been able to cope with the traveling and the walking and things, and so I unfortunately have had to decline, but uh, I still keep getting the invitations to attend all sorts of soirees and cocktail parties and, uh, you know, all those sort of things. But, um, I love your humbleness. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> You're so humble. Well, okay, well, I'm going to um, finish off this segment, I'm and, but thank you for an insight into your life today and allowing me to follow you around and uh, I'm just going to set the camera up in your studio. Thank you Peter. Okay Mo, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Let's go for it. Oh, uh, a little E.T. and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, E.T. has become uh, a bit of a, uh, a toy. So. And then now, when was this picture taken with the Zimmers there? Uh, this was taken in Munich, um, and when we were there last, when we had an after-show party, and uh, that was the entire group of the Zimmers who were there at the time. And you went to, back to school, right? Yes, yes. And I went to a comprehensive school nearby, and... Uh, I found the art teacher and said that I want to learn art and I've uh, paid my taxes, where do I sit? Expecting him to say, well, there are plenty of evening classes and things and what have you, but bless his heart, he said, you can sit with that lot, pointing to <laughs> the children that were in the class. And the children in the class at that time were doing their GCSEs and 14-year-olds, so I thought, oh my God, <laughs> you've called my blood. <laughs> anyway, I sat there and he gave me some exercises to do and it was an absolutely wonderful experience because the children, um, apart from, not, I expected them to be messing about and taking the mickey and all the rest of it, but not a bit of it. Um, they were um, they were fascinated and of course afterwards I, I realised that the art teacher wasn't as stupid as I thought he was because to have an old person sitting in with them who obviously was going to work hard and concentrate was going to be very good for them as well so uh, right. that's what I did and then, then I moved here and I was doing my A-levels at that time so I carried on at a local college doing A-levels uh, uh, at a town nearby and uh, when that finished I said well what do I do now and they said well uh, if you want to go on you've got to do a foundation course so I thought oh well I might as well you know I'm having fun yes. and of course made lots of friends there now the age group of course was much older at, uh, at college you know we've got sort of 18 and 19 year olds and they said how do you think you're going to get on with 18 and 19 year olds and I said well um, I can't see any reason why I shouldn't, you know, but I said if I feel that uh, I'm not or I'm an intrusion then I will just leave, but of course I didn't and again it was wonderful and uh, it was lovely to work with older young people, uh, that's, a, that's not, a, anyway you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course it was so nice to be part of their lives. I mean, whilst we were working together in, yeah. in the work that we were doing, they were very, very helpful to me and it was it was work. But outside of that, in the canteen and all the other areas, um, I had no I had no rejection from them at all. Mind you, you did walk down the corridors sort of not really making eyeball uh, contact. contact and uh, if somebody said sort of are you all right? They didn't really mean that. They meant, what the hell are you doing here? But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this work was done when I had done my foundation course, the first year's uh, foundation, and went on to university at another town nearby where I did a full-time course in uh, BA for fine art. And uh, so I finally got that qualification and... Uh, what age were you when you got that qualification, or the uh, roundabout age? You were? <clears throat> well, you'll have to work it out. <laughs> I remember that I left in 1994, so I guess 
Uh, I can't do the mathematics. I would, think, I would figure. think I'd be in my middle 60s, I suppose. So it's never too late to do anything. No, never it too isn't. Early. No, it isn't. And of course, that could lead on to this new world of computers and old people getting involved. Uh, most of my friends around here, they don't want to know about computers. They are frightened of them and they mm. think they're too difficult, etc. But if only they would know the wonderful benefits you can get, particularly with the internet, and something that I'm about to do now, which is uh, get onto Skype and see if any people there might be in I don't know, they might be in Japan, Holland, Spain, America, that I will talk to. It's something I do uh, pretty well every morning. And uh, if only we could get a message across that you should not be frightened of them. And you need the help of younger people, but I would have thought that most old people have got children and grandchildren uh, who would help them. and. Uh, so it's never too late to learn, absolutely. No. Right. After I've looked at my private emails, one of the first things I do is um, is to go into a voice uh, over internet protocol program that I use called Skype, which is very well known to most people, I think, uh, which it should open up in a minute. Uh, and it tells me that I should give access to that and I have a look and see who, what, who my contacts are online and at the moment there doesn't seem to be many. Um, I've got... I've well, it got, looks like you have quite a few. Oh, well, I've got hundreds. My goodness, you so sure <laughs> Oh yes, do. well quite a few are online. Um, not my brother unfortunately, who I speak, who I speak to uh, I have just got the message come in that says kiss kiss. Ooh, uh, are you going to check who that is now? I know exactly who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is it's a very nice young lady. <laughs> so of the people that are online, um, there isn't really anybody just at the moment that um, I would want to speak with. Um, this man called Motorcycle Picture Man. Yes. I have to. I have to give them nicknames because oh, you I, do? I can't think who they are half the time. And he's a lovely friend, and he lives in Holland. And, oh, okay. uh, and he's into motorcycles, I tell well, you. Well, no, he he isn't, but he knows I am, and he has sent me hundreds and hundreds of pictures of motorcycles, which I put in a folder. And uh, so uh, I do know his name now. His name is Bart. Yes. And. Uh, we could have a we could have a word with him. Unfortunately, when I speak to him, I don't think there's enough bandwidth for us to use the video as well. But uh, um, we'll see what he says. Okay. You've got quite a setup here, haven't you? Well, uh, yes. I just bought um, a new A3 printer because I wanted to do some quality prints because yes. I'm interested in graphic design and things, and that's one of my prints of my Beautiful. grandson who's um, spent a bit of his. He's at university, and he he spent a bit of a. Uh, Never mind. Is calling you. Shall we? Shall we Go take a chance and answer? Oh, yeah. Hello. Thank you for your messages and especially the kisses. How are you this morning? Well, look dear, um, nice talking to you as always, but we are in the middle of filming, um, so I'm going to say uh, good, no, no need to be sorry. Um, if you see me online again and I've got the time, we'll talk again. Bye-bye. Um, Goodbye. This is the view Peter has when he's talking to everybody from the web, on the webcam here. So when you're Skyping everybody, Peter, you have this wonderful view that I'm homing in on now. Yes, I do. It's wonderful, isn't it? There's, uh, you can see the roadway uh, just past the field below, and that's rather nice comforting. The cars and traffic just glide along silently. So that's company, and over the field the other side is, uh, is a river, and it meanders uh, 
through the town and uh, well when I when I'm not in here uh, of course I have to go downtown and uh, the easiest way to do that because it's in a tourist area and there aren't much car parking facilities I go down on a bicycle. Oh so you do? I, I do yes only on the flat I walk up the hill. So now you, you're getting hold of your brother who's in in Spain at the moment right? I'm trying to but we're having a few problems it says he's Aww. online but I don't have any uh, any means of contacting him. I sent him a message which hasn't been delivered so I think there's a bit of a problem at his end, I think. Yeah. Um, so and you do this every day? I speak to my brother every day, yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just because we're family and, you know, yeah. that's what we do. Um, but um, I'm sorry that my American friend is not online because he is, uh, has been a friend all the time I've been on YouTube and he's the webmaster of my, uh, of my website. My website is called Ask Geriatric 1927 and Mike set it up for me uh, because in the early days I had literally thousands of letters. I think there's nearly 5,000 letters in there and I, I yes. could not cope. So it was set up originally for that reason. But the forums aren't too active but the people who do participate, we have interesting things to talk about. And another feature that he's put on is that people can leave me voice messages by this oh, nice. uh, program. I think it's called Snapvine, the program that he uses. And he just loves this clock. He always puts a, <laughs> he always puts a clock on. And uh, uh, i just see if there's anything in today. No, there isn't. The last one was from Granny, who in fact is Michael's mother, who was on yesterday. And then, yeah. of course, I go to the conventional YouTube, and this is where I spend all day. And, yeah. uh, I naturally look at all the videos of those people to who I, who I have subscribed to. Not all of them, but some of my favourites, and... Uh, uh, Zipster, of course. You do with it, me, Zipster. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> that's my friend Zipster. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's a really nice fella. Uh, very, very talented with the uh, things that he does on YouTube and his uh, acting, for want of a better word. But he's also been in the music industry all of his life and mm -hmm. uh, has his has had his bands in the rock and roll days and you know yeah. he, he's done the lot so he's got great experiences of life. Right. So um, uh, having skipped through Zipster uh, I get into my letters which is um, uh, there's 4,308 new messages there. Wow. Um, so does that mean then you already answered the 4,000? Not all of them, I'm afraid, because they came in in a bulk in the early days and mm -hmm. uh, that was when things got really on top of me and I couldn't cope with all the media attention and just wanted to just forget it all, you know. Oh. But Mike came and helped me and set up the website where people could sort of ask a general question there and I could answer you know uh, in a sort of a general way to common questions uh, right so and then take therefore take the pressure off because right, it's at yeah. your own pace uh, but as time has gone on uh, i think as i explained earlier people many people have become pen pals and uh, so it's a joy to uh, to correspond with yeah. them you know oh. i I do other things on the internet. I want to research things like everybody does. I mean, Google is so wonderful. And I'm going to look up uh, your friend whose name you gave me last night um, that you interviewed on, uh, you know... Oh, on Mr. Earl Oaken. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, uh, we, all, we all do our normal things on, uh, on, on the internet. Yeah, but I do my movies now on my new Mac computer because Ooh. that's got the uh, iMovie program which is uh, very oh, upmarket. And I hear it's better for graphics too. I think they're much more user friendly. You drag things about. It must have a whole cartload of drivers because everything you plug in just seems to work, you know. Yes. Um, they're better for that reason, I, I believe. And at the moment, they probably would be considered to be more secure in that these people who write scripts for viruses and Trojans and all this stuff, 
really a, so far are concentrating on Windows and PCs. Uh, I think Mac hold about 10% of the computer market, so maybe that's a reason. So that's a good sort of security feature. So I bought the Mac. All right. And that's what uh, later today you and I hopefully will be doing. I'm going to reverse things and I'm going to interview you and hopefully bung it up on uh, on YouTube. So, uh, uh, you know, um, you'll see what it's like to go through all this torment. <laughs> Here we are at the local place <laughs> and we are having lunch right now so I'll just give you a quick scope. We're having chicken pie, potatoes and uh, in this rather wonderful place with a fireplace and here's to the shops didn't we Peter and we've got a whole slew of stuff. Yes. Yeah we forgot that it was uh, Black Friday because everybody's still on holiday and they're all out to the sales and uh, oh well, we had the most exciting time, didn't we? And I'm yes, glad we did. I wasn't driving because uh, <laughs> I would have got infuriated. But uh, Mo uh, coped. Uh, Mo coped in her usual uh, uh, expert way. And, uh, <laughs> what was that re reference to rally driving? <laughs> 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 well, I did say I'd take you on an exciting country route to you the town. You certainly did, and, yes. Uh, we had to climb up quite a long hill with many, many sharp bends through the moors, and uh, yeah, I, I was I was hanging on the passenger door. And <laughs> you were, as they say in America, you were holding what is it, gri gripping leather. Absolutely, yes, <laughs> yes, I was, yes, yes, I was, but I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, and uh, I have to tell you. Uh, Mo is a, is a great driver and uh, I felt very, uh, very safe and oh, that's kind uh, of enjoyed you. it, yeah. <laughs> Um, we've just had a good old talk, haven't we, about everything. We've been to the stores, we've opened up packages, you bought a camera, and then there were some things that you wanted to show me on the internet. What is it you want to show me? Oh, well, I think you'd be very interested in uh, a friend of mine who's English now, lives in America, and he, he writes his own songs and has actually written one for me. And he has just done a cover version of Unchained Melody, which has always been a favourite of mine. And I remember it from the original old days of Al Hibbler. And it's absolutely mind-blowing because I do really believe that it is better than the original. And he's done a, a wonderful uh, edited video to go with it. So it's really professional. So I'd like you to hear him I'd and, love to. Um, What's his name? His name is Alan Williams. But Peter, I thank you so much for coming on Long Beach and with Mark and showing us a day in the life of Peter. Thank you. Well, it's been a great honour that you should ask me because your list of um, people that you meet and know reads like a, an extract from Who's Who and to be oh, it doesn't to be included in those. Um, those list of people is a great honour. I am honoured to have you on the show. I really, really am. Thank you. Thank well, you so much. We'll see what comments we get then when the show goes up. Oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a great pleasure and um, it's been a great enjoyable time and it's made my Christmas because I've had company and... Uh, and it's made my Christmas too because mm -hmm. I've got to meet Peter mm -hmm. and he's a wonderful, wonderful man. And you have an open invitation to come to Long Beach any time you like and Thank stay you. the house. Thank you. But don't make me cry at the end of the film. No. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the video that I wanted to show you. Um, I think it's a wonderful cover version of the song, but um, he is only one of many wonderful amateur sort of uh, uh, music makers on YouTube, so I, I, I'm only singling him out because I was so moved by the quality of his video and the song that he, song that he did. So uh, have a listen. <laughs>
There we go. Yeah. Well, we are saying goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Long Beach and Woodmo for sure. Long Beach and Woodmo. Long Beach and Woodmo for sure. Long Beach and Woodmo. Long Beach and Woodmo. Check I heard.